I'm back. So I want to show you how to assemble this so that it looks really gorgeous and ready to put into a pretty potted plant or in your garden. If the edges are kind of sharp around here, you want to grab your little sanding block and just sand them and smooth them down a little bit. You don't have to get them completely smooth, but maybe just take some of that sharpness out so that you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. The butterflies, you're working we want to add it. some pretty color to this. You see how pretty this uh, turquoise butterfly is? Looks so nice. And what we're going to do with that, remember our craft spots, our stamping spots, you can tell how long I've had these just from the label, how old it is. But I use them all the time and I love them. And I'm going to use um, Pink Passion, no I'm sorry, Lovely Lilac. That color is not around anymore, but you can certainly use some of the Concord Crush or one of the other gorgeous purples that we have. So all I'm going to do with the craft ink is go over the whole butterfly, okay, and get some real good color. That should be that on there. And then what I'm going to do is spray it with some of this Krylon. Um, clear gloss. I just got it at my local craft store. It's nothing special, but I'm going to go ahead and go outside and spray it and I will be right back. Next thing I want to do is uh, just give it a second to dry, but I'm going to take my sanding block again and I'm going to go over it. It's looking really nice and dirty now. It's well loved. I'm going to go ahead and go over right where I stamped it because I wanted to start peeling paint off the embossed raised edges. Is so look how gorgeous that looks. You can see um, the raised image right there. So what I want to do is go ahead and layer it on this piece like that. And in order for me to uh, make it stand still a little bit while I'm working, I'm going to use some glue dots and put it down with that. Your glue dots are used by sticking your embellishment down to whatever, or sticking your embellishment down to the glue dot. You don't want to touch it with your fingers because if you do, it's going to get the oil from your fingers, or in this case, all the dust from your fingers, and it won't be sticky anymore. But I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot like that. Press it down, pick it back up, do another one right there. Okay, press it down, put it back up, and then I'm going to just put it down where I want it to be. Now I can work on it without it moving around. Go ahead and take your crocodile, and I'm using the smallest hole punch, which is the 1 8 size. I'm gonna punch a hole right here in the middle, like that, okay? Then I'm going to add some curly wire on there. This is wire that I found at Hobby Lobby or craft store. I found it in the jewelry section. Um, this one is called On a Wire. It's a 16 gauge. The higher the gauge number, the softer the wire it is. So this is a 16 gauge. Comes with three yards. It was $1.99 but 50% off. And it's in the jewelry section if you go looking for it. But it's very soft. It has uh, these three colors. I think there might have been a black and a white, but I just went with these three. But this is very soft. You can bend it with your fingers that you can see. And that's what I'm going to kind of use to dress this up a little. So I'm just going to take a very narrow, in this case, a little Phillips screwdriver, narrow little circle, and I'm just going to go around it like this. And then I'll do it on the other side. And see, it's not anything that's, you know, specifically planned out or measured out or anything like that. Just a little bit of fun. And these little edges, you can curl them around. Okay. And I can curl this around right here. And do the other one. If it's a little bit sharp for your fingers, then just get your little pliers and curl it in so it doesn't hurt your fingers. Just like that. Okay. So that's what I've done. I'm gonna go ahead and bend this right in the middle. Kind of make them like little antennae. Um, for the butterflies. It doesn't have to be specifically that, but it kind of looks cute. I'm going to take one of our rhinestone brads and using the large one, you can use any size you want, it doesn't matter, but I'm gra grabbing a big one and open up the little prongs on the bottom. Put your wire right here in the middle, like so. Go ahead and put your butterfly 
put it into the butterfly hole that you made with your crocodile. Press the little uh, prongs open in the back because that's how it holds right there. And then I just kind of press it down on the table to get it nice and flat. And you can go ahead and move these little things around. They don't have to be antennae. They can just be little curly things. Um, other thing I want to do is bend my butterfly wings up just a little bit. Okay. Adds a little bit of dimension. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Then I want to be able to hang it. So I'm going to take my crocodile again. And I'm going to punch a hole with the 1 8 inch hole right there at the top. Okay. So I've got it right there. And I'm going to fashion a little post. Let me move this out of the way for you. This is the galvanized wire that I'm going to make a little stake or a little post, kind of like this. Not kind of, exactly like that. And this is 14 gauge. I found it at a Elliott's um, hardware store. Hobby Lobby just had a huge roll. They didn't have a small roll. I didn't need that much. I only needed actually about 10 or 15 feet, but they only had 100 feet here. And it's galvanized wire. I found it in the fence and garden section. If you go to your store to look for it, that's where I found it. And cut off a piece of it. It's going to be really stiff. It's not one that you can bend with your fingers. You're going to need pliers. So I used my super duper wire cutters to do that. And I took the wire, straightened it out with my fingers. It takes a long time to do that, so I won't bore you with that. Then I got a uh, my trusty tomato paste from the pantry and went ahead, wrapped it around there, got the wire, wrapped it around there. When I got the shape that I wanted, I just took my pliers and turned it up right here at the edge like that. Okay. So now I have that little uh, hook and I can take my little garden stake and put it together for you. I think it's gorgeous. Some of the other ones that I've done that you can see. This one has a little more of a detailed wire. You can go ahead and try that. That's a lot of work though. I tell you what, it took me about half an hour trying to move it back and forth. But this is another little garden stick I did using a smaller oval and then the um, smaller butterfly also. This is a little flower stake I did. Very cute with a button in the middle. And then I think one of my favorites, you can put this like in a little um, pot that you're going to use. It kind of looks like a little rainbow. Did that, put lots of curly, colorful wire on that also. And this one I painted brown. And then one that you can hang right on a little hook. I fashioned a hook out of the same thing. Again, curling it up like this is a lot of work, but um, fashioned it into a little hook so that I can hang it anywhere I want. Maybe a piece of uh, fishing line can hold it up. So different ways that you can do this. So thank you very much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is one of the first ones I'm doing as a demo. So leave your comments. I think you can do it somewhere down there. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it and maybe I'll do some more. This is kind of a lot of work, so I'm trying it out. So go grab a drink. See you later. Bye.